All right, welcome back to another video. Today, we are continuing the build that you've seen featured in the past three videos on my channel. Yes, I know I haven't told anyone what this is about. I've been hired to make a structure based off an anime, pretty much. Some of you will be able to tell what this is at the end of this video, since it does get fairly close to being finished. But right now, I am making cabins that are gonna be placed in the map. There's about 12, no, 14 of them, I think that are going to be used in total. Their cabins are kind of repetitive, so later on I will be very making various different models off camera, but for right now I'm just making a base one that I could build and edit off of. Doing the same design Saturn, not design Saturn, design pattern with the roof and all that. It's going to look pretty good in the end, I hope. Anyways, about the BYM, some of you have been wanting to see where is that gone? Is that going to ever come back? Well, to put it in short, I am planning on that stuff coming back in the future. It's just, the game is not out yet, and I can't really film it when it's not out and I can't play it, so when it does come out, I will go back to that and start filming that. Otherwise, in the meantime, I'm just going to be building stuff off the studio like this to keep the channel going. I think it's just something nice, I don't know, gets my skills up, gets me practice at least. I guess I could in the future do a tutorial, what would you think of that? It might be kind of fun. Even though I haven't really done tutorial before, it's kind of complicated to do those. It requires a lot of editing, which I don't know if I want to go through more editing again. I, okay, fine, I will probably go through more editing if you really want to have a tutorial about this come out. Now here you can see I'm creating terrain. No, this is not going to be what the actual terrain is going to look like. It's kind of ugly. This is the default terrain that Roblox offers. I don't like it that much, so as you can see, I start placing these red dots randomly about it. I'm just using a terrain tool as a way to make easy, complex terrain. And then I'm going to make it even better. That's what these red dots, you'll see a little bit, what they're going to be for as I place them at every single point where the ground changes. Yes, the more pl points that I place, the more parts can be used, but it's going to create a lot of lag in the map. That's okay if it looks great, right? Anyways, this is what the red dots are for. It's for making triangles in the ground. As you can see, it's kind of like a low poly terrain that I'm making right here. I just use the default terrain as a way to map it out so it's a lot easier to place in. This is, so far, the basics of the build. Still need to add in the rest of the mountains, some vegetation, trees, bushes, all that kinds of stuff. The river needs water in it. That That's the gray little street. That's supposed to be a riverbed. But that's all I have time for today's episode. And so far, it's turning out pretty good. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.